Welcome to Chuck Builds. This is my home server rack. Um, the rack itself is pretty new and I'm currently in the process of updating it. I currently have a brocade switch. It's the ICX 6450 24 port with PoE. And I bought this used on eBay. I've had it for about two months. I'm really happy with it for the price. It's incredible but it's a little wobbly and the fans are really loud. So today I'll be replacing the fans. I know that these fans are what are recommended on the uh, Serve the Home forums, which is who also recommended this brocade switch. This is a little different than my home assistant videos, but I hope to segue into more home server stuff and networking and I'm gonna try and replace these fans. So we got it out. To start, we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and we'll be taking off these front two tabs on the side that you use to rack mount it. For sake of showing you, there's just three screws right there. So we took these three screws out and revealed a hidden screw underneath. We'll start with those next. Then we're gonna take off these three screws, working our way left to this side one. And last but not least, we will spin this bad boy around. And we've got three on the back that will be taken off. And then the last screws that we need to get are on both sides right here and right here. Oh shit. This last one started to strip on me, so I went off camera to take my time with it. I don't know why this one of all of them was the one to start, but... So with all the screws removed, the top just slides off. And we can pull this away. And I do want to call out that anything inside this black box should be considered dangerous. This is the power supply unit. There are capacitors that still have a charge inside of here. Um, if you don't know what you're doing or you're just poking around like I am to change these fans, stay away from that side and we can screw around right here. Or these fans are what I'm trying to replace. <laughs> The new fan that I ordered, I bought from DigiKey. It is a Delta FFB0H12HHNF00 is the model. I'll put that in the description. It's right there. Um, it's a 12 volt fan that's meant to replace these. It should be quieter. But as I take it apart, I noticed that my wire colors are different than the ones that are on the machine. We have yellow, green, and black, and the new ones are red blue and black. On the old one, 12 volt wire was the yellow and the red is now the 12 volt wire. Black is ground on both and then blue is replacing the green as the sensor wire. So the part of this that I was most concerned about before getting started was reusing these white fan connectors and replacing it with the new ones. The way that I'm getting these off, we have these little slots here. And what that looks like on the inside is you have these little connector hooks that are sticking back at you. So we wanna compress that angle and then pull it through. And the way that I'm doing it right now is with a screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, putting it into the slot, starting with the corner, pushing down that raised part, and then pushing it. And just kind of rolling the screwdriver, and they seem to be coming right out. I didn't get the green. 
and we can reuse our fan connector, but we do need to go get these little pieces. Two weeks later. So it's several days. It's actually more like two weeks after I filmed the last segment um, of this video. And it was because I did not have these fan crimp connectors. I didn't want to chop this fan up. I thought about just cutting the wire, connecting it to the new fan wire and just kind of like in the middle here and like solder them together and use some heat shrink. But I thought I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of do it right and not destroy this fan. So I went and ordered these crimp connectors and I've already done one of these just trying to make sure I'm learning how to do it right. And what I noticed is the end of the wire is too long into the crimp here. So I'm going to try to improve. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the wire over onto itself so we get a little shorter like that. I have, for the most part, shortened these up. So I'm going to take one of these and just kind of work it off. Make sure my cable's not twisted. And then I'm just going to slide this up on in there. So this is where I'm really not that sure the proper way to do this. Because the face of these crimps are kind of open and it's not like a wire crimp where I could just take these pliers and put it on the smallest setting and pinch it from the top. I need to kind of work them together and then back in. So I'm kind of cheating and I'm sure this is not the right way to do it. Couldn't find too much info on a quick search and I kind of don't care. So I'm just gonna crimp it so that it holds together. But it's very upright. So now I'm, I'm gonna just come in from the top and squeeze it this way too. And so we're crimped. I'll get that little wing in. And I was hoping I could use like one of these settings. It just doesn't really get it very good. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of do the same to this bottom bit. So you can see it's still open down there. And that's the first one done. It's not the prettiest, but I'm certain it will work. So moving on to the blue. And so we've got our end attachments on. Uh, old fan header, I couldn't find actually a replacement that was exactly this size. There's some close ones, but they're just not as tall on the wings here. So I'm reusing this and we'll take the blue for the leftmost and just kind of slide it on in here. We then have yellow or uh, 12 volt for the middle. Slide that in there. And then last but not least is the black wire. I'll get that lined up right. And it just slides into these little grooves and you push it in. Probably poke these in. As far as I can get them. And they kind of clicked in and they're in there real solid. They're not going, oh, the blue one is not in all the way. So on the very back of these, there's a little fin that sticks up. And that is what clips into this white fan header and kind of gets it all locked in place right there. And this blue one, the back fin got flattened while I was crimping. So I'm gonna poke that back out. So using the back of a flat screwdriver, I got that last little um, tab to kind of stick up right there at the end of my nail. So now they're in there solid, there's no exposed metal, and I think this will just plug and play. So I need to do that for the other fan here. I've got the crimps ready, but I need to take the fan connector out of the existing fan. So let's take it apart. 
and we'll verify for a moment so that our old fan plug was green, yellow, black with the fins facing us. And the new one is going to be blue, red, black. Chart here that yellow is 12 volts and red is 12 volt in the center, that's good. And then green was the uh, sensor and now blue is the sensors. Those are in the right positions. So I'm gonna take this one that I did earlier and I'm just going to push it on and it's tight, <laughs> but I think that will be just fine. And I'm going to take this fan, see how these are gonna loop because there's a clip right here. So that the wires are mostly out of the way, not too much tension on the plug. So I'm just kind of moving these around so they fit nicely and hopefully won't catch too much dust. Is I'm going to just take these screws from the old fan and then just take it right away to this new fan. In there, nice and rigid. I take out this old one, just pulls right out. So taking my second fan and following the same wiring diagram or the wiring layout, and you want this little fin in the back to be in this open slot. So just line up and push it all the way in. Let's see, pop it up there. The second one will be red. Nice and tight. And then last but not least, ground. They're on there pretty good. And we'll bring it over up here and just plug it in. Just kind of make a loop for this little wire clip with enough slack that's not pulling on the plug, but that it also won't be collecting a bunch of dust and in the way. It is longer than the old fan was, the wire is at least. So what I ended up doing is inverting the face of the fan where it's upside down, just so the wire comes out on the left. I didn't want the wire to be blocking the airflow. I wanna kinda of tuck it up into this corner out of the way. So I'm just gonna screw this in now. And the fans are replaced. So now, before we put the cover back on and screw it all back up, we're gonna test and make sure these fans turn on so we don't have to uh, take it all apart again. Both fans are blowing, much quieter, still pretty good airflow. I'd call this a success. Thanks for watching. Um, save yourself some time and order the fan with the headers already attached. That link will be in the description. Hopefully this was okay. And let me know if you want to see more like this and more about the home server. And thanks for watching.